Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are your neighborhood friendly whiskey watchers and this is a Dusty and I'm not saying it's old. Welcome to Shell for Saturday. This is Sazerac Rye. This one's my choice though, so I find this to be a decent rye, relatively cheap, and it's Sazerac. It is Sazerac. It's like my and favorite distillery for some reason. The problem is in our area, these are everywhere now. I know. I, I understand. A year ago, you couldn't find them. A, a year ago, these were gold. Um, apparently the picks are even better, but you know what? Only one way to find out. We gotta go find them. Oh God. I thought that broke for a I second. I did too. Oh, that would have been terrible. This shows you how often we drink this one. Exactly. All right, so Sazerac Rye made by Buffalo Trace Distillery. Coming in a whopping, what's the proof on this again? I don't even remember. 90 proof. 90 proof and I believe a whole, uh, I, I wanna say like four to six years old. I don't know the age range on these. Do we there's, say? there's no age range on that. Oh, but they give you their email address. Email Buffalo Trace Distillery to find out how old this is because obviously we can't do research because, well, we're on the clock. We're on the clock. Anyway, so uh, yeah, Sazerac Rye, really, really light copper, really, really light. It almost reminds me of like, oh goodness. Liquid gold. Almost like a liquid gold kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, not how, quite how it smells though. Super sweet, it almost mapley. It is very sweet, like it is like cinnamon roll sweet. Maybe that's why I like it. Cinnamon roll sweet with like icing, like 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 cream cheese icing. But you dig deep down, and you get those rye notes. But they're at the bottom of the bottle, and I'm okay with that. It's like the bottom of the cookie jar where the crumbs are. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to the watchers. Love that noise. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh? No, this is good. It just had that, this tannic. Ugh. Oof. Okay. So. One second, let me get one more sip. You give them, give them your thoughts. I'm gonna get another sip, see if so, it... To me, it is almost raw sugar while you're mowing. If that makes any sense to anyone. Like you got some grass clippings in there. It's like, this is one of the better rise at an affordable price that I drink. I haven't bought one in a while just because I have bottles sitting on my floor. I don't, I need to buy another shelf, but I'm working on that. Go, go, go to the Goodwill. Dude, yeah. don't joke. They have them at the Goodwill. If I ever find one of those school desks, that's what I'm getting at Goodwill. So. The chiropractor desk. <laughs> oh. So opposed to his, his notes of sweet, I'm getting a lot of like bitter undertones and. Really? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of bitterness from this. I'm getting a lot of like, like you said, grass. Mm. Like it, it's like you, uh, you're drinking an IPA while you're mowing the grass. Broken Skull IPA. Um, a, a little bit heavier, kind of like a uh, double, like IPA. an Arctic Panzer Wolf from Three Floyds, or um, since our friend Matt works at Stone, a Double Bastard, um, Double Bastard IPA. By the way, if you can find a Double Bastard IPA in your area, pick one up. They're fucking delicious. Anyway. No, I don't get the bitter undertones at all. Like See, there might be a slight bitterness, but to me it comes off almost a sour on the sides of my tongue. And maybe that's what I'm getting, but it's like, it's just right there over the top of my palate. I'm gonna go for one more just to see if if I'm wrong. And by the way, while I'm doing that, go do the, th Jake, do the thing. There's a little bell and a button and another button. And then one more button that we don't like. You're allowed to press it. I'm not gonna stop you, but there are a notification bell I like, we really like subscribes. And we don't like dislikes, but we, we get it. You don't like it, you don't like it. Click it, you'll see less. 
But if you click the others, you'll see more, and we like that. We're we, cool people. We enjoy people watching more. And by the way... Yes, we like watching people. <laughs> Jake's a people watcher. Anyway, so final thoughts on this one. I still get that bitterness. I really do. It's, it's not going away. It's subdued, but it's not going away. Um, at $36 at our local Walmart. These are always at our local Walmart for $36. You, it seems like they just sit on the shelf now. Um, at $36, this is one I just can't recommend to people. I if you're a bourbon drinker trying to get a rye in that you like as a bourbon drinker, I recommend it. I'm, I'm one of those guys. I don't like, mo I'm starting to like rye and I hate it. <laughs> but this is one of those ryes that is affordable and I'll drink it. So maybe if you're that bourbon drinker that wants to start jumping into the world of ryes, this might be your gateway. Um, it's a cheaper gateway than jumping into hard truth at a, what is it, $70 price point? $75 price point. Price point. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Um, although the high road rye is around yeah. 35 But dang. Anyway, so ultimately I can't recommend this one. Jake recommends it. To the bourbon drinker. See, if you're a rye drinker, don't. don't you know don't. what? Even if you're a rye drinker, sure. Why not? I mean, if you like rye whiskey, you like rye whiskey. That's how it is. I, that's how I feel. This is coming from a guy who just five seconds ago said, don't drink it, it's not good. I'm a rye drinker, don't drink it. I, I am a rye drinker and I don't enjoy it, but I know there are some rye drinkers out there that will. There, it has cult following, otherwise it still wouldn't be produced. Yeah. So with that being said, we want to thank you for your time today. Go down below, again, hit that like, subscribe button. Until we drink again, we want to remind you to share a pour with your friends and family. Because much like the movies. Memories don't make themselves, guys. Cheers. Cheers.